Yo! What's up, guys? It's me, your boy, B, back here on the flippin' YouTube channel. That's right, my friends. We're continuing playing this freaking nightmare fuel. Freaking shard, shard inducing video game. Amnesia, a machine for pigs. So if you guys are excited for today's video, make sure, if you guys could, like the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Alright, um, but yeah, without further ado, let's just get started. So in the last video, if you guys haven't watched that, that's pretty much the introduction of the game. Um, we made our way to the grand hall of our own house. We ended up, you know, turning some switches to power up this machine. It, like, opened some doors, I believe, from downstairs. And we're going to go find our children, Enoch and Edwin, as well as turning back on the great machine, or like the the, the machine or whatever. <clears throat> and we figured that out, well at least to turn the machine on, via a phone call. So, very interesting, you know, in Amnesia the Dark Descent, it was pretty much just you were alone the entire time, but uh, up until the end. But in this game, you're, someone is kind of guiding you, or talking with you along your journey um so that's a little bit of a change from the first to the second um which i don't i don't mind it's whatever but um yeah so we just pretty much in the last video explored the grand hall the the mansion this like freaking scary dining room and um oh god and yeah, um, I hate playing these kinds of games, so excuse me if I'm like playing really slow or, you know, whatever. I'm frightened, the commentary isn't that great because, you know, I'm freaking scared out of my mind. But um, in the last video, we, um, let me start crouching. We opened the door to go outside to like this, you know, just like the, the garden area or the whatever area of our uh, mansion, our manor. And as we did that, we saw, you know, the ghosts of our... I don't know if they're... They're probably ghosts. Them motherfuckers. Them kids are probably cooked right now. But um, we saw, you know, our kids or the ghosts of our kids or whatever. Just, you know, playing outside and running throughout the entire manor. And we've been seeing them uh, throughout the entire beginning of the, entire, uh, the game. So that's also another objective that we have to complete, which is to... Um, Find our kids. Why is that chair knocked over? Let me turn this off. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start by heading outside. So let's just do it right now, I guess. I'm absolutely terrified. This is something that I don't like. So let's go. Let's go. We have some sort of well. God, I hate these kinds of games, man. I hate them. So yeah, we did see our kids, you know, walking down this hall right here. This little pathway right here. Oh, there's no... We can't go through this way. Um, so, you know, we gotta go find them. <clears throat> as well as turning on the great machine or whatever that... Our main character, Oswald, invested a lot of his uh, finances into, which um, was met with poor reception from the public and from, you know, the banks and stuff. They were like, you're going to ruin your name, you're going to ruin your legacy, uh, don't do that. But he was, but our character was very insistent on doing so, not ruining our name, but, you know, um, creating this machine to pretty much help with uh, our job, which was, which is uh, a butcher. I am off to market. I will cry all the way home. You're gonna cry all the way I home? I will have none. I will have none at all. You'll have none what? So we're on our way to the market? What does that mean? Let me explore all of the um, outside locations before we actually head to the wherever we're headed to. 
Um, because it looks like there are at least some things that we could check out. Yeah, this is where we saw our kids it, that passed that gate. Just like going to the right there. But I'm curious, is there anything cool that we can explore? Or that we can find? That could potentially help our journey here. Maybe some notes. Maybe some resources. But I'm not thinking so because this game plays a lot different than The Dark Descent. There is no inventory. It's just journals. That's it. And light resources and light management and resource management isn't a thing anymore in this game. Because you have unlimited light. You have unlimited light, you have unlimited tinder boxes. Well you don't even have you don't even have tinder boxes. Um so that was kind of a bummer to me, to be honest, because I like that like survival aspect of the game. It was pretty neat. I mean it looks like yeah, we can't open the gates on either one of those. But I will say you know, where it lacks in some areas, it definitely uh, picks up in a lot of others. Like, the level design is a lot better. Um, oh, and this is actually where we opened all those gates. The level design is a lot better. Um, so I like that a lot. And it looks like we are finally entering into... Oh, wait, when, when did this door open? Wait, what? That wasn't open when we were just there. That's weird. So it looks like now we have a nice quick access back to the mansion or the manor. Who's there? I'm not scared of you. I know, you're just... Pixels! You don't scare me. And there's this weird little chute here. I'm not sure what the shoot's for, but it looks like it leads to like a conveyor belt. I'm not sure what goes in here though, but we can't interact with this. I just don't know what we gotta put in there. I was thinking that we we're gonna we were supposed to put Enoch and Edwin's ball in there, but the ball got glitched through the painting or like the one-way windows, you know, which is kind of lame. It's Come on, Daddy. It's this way. Oh hell no! You guys see it? Yo, yeah, our kids are dead. Our kids are dead af, bro. Yeah, we're seeing some freaking shining type ish. Some freaking. Some freaking sixth sense type shit. Hell nah. So the, our kids were like, Daddy, he's coming this way. And we got a new journal entry A curious discovery. Metal ticking as it cools and contracts. This must be the strange machine my new friend told me of. If my children discover this place, it is entirely conceivable they stray downwards, delighted in their discovery. Very well. It seems my route is predestined. The descent begins. Oh, I like that little um, Easter egg reference back to the first game. Okay, so let's be very careful. We're seeing spirits. We're seeing our kids. But yeah, one thing that I don't like is that there's... Jesus. Oh, what the? There's not that much interactivity in this game. What? Oh, this leads to another- wait. Huh? Oh, I thought this was the same outside area as that we that we just uh, visited. I guess not. It looks like this is a different outside zone. Oh god, we're heading deep down. I do not like the looks of this. Oh, oh, oh wow. <clears throat> our manor is huge. It looks like we turned our manor... Oh, Jesus, we got the pig mask. It looks like we turned our manor into like a factory it's like a factory and a manor like a house mansion kind of vibe that's pretty cool yeah i will say one thing that i'm pretty disappointed in is the lack of interactability within the world you know so we got uh the black raven i think or something a bird yeah that's a little bit uh disappointing it's extremely it's extremely linear. Like, and, and there's not that much, um... 
you don't get rewarded for your exploration, which kind of sucks, because I'm the kind of player that likes to explore every single edge of the map. Come and see, Papa. We found an egg. A stone egg. A stone egg? Oh, hell no. Nah. Alright, here's where the nightmare begins. So literally, the note says the descent begins, so this is where shit is about to hit the fan. I can already tell. Scary music. Huh? Oh, what the hell? Oh god, there's no going back. There's no going back, please! What? Against the rising waters, planted the fingernails in flower pots all along the river when it's dark so the sun could hatch them. Entered the cellars in amnesia. We got an achievement. All the world is an egg, he reasoned. We will grow hands now? What the hell? What is this guy talking about? Planting fingerprints and growing hands? <clears throat> okay, so it looks like... Yep, we're not leaving. Alright. You gotta love it, man. You gotta love it. So, yeah, we're not leaving. Say sayonara to our... To our life. To our nice home. And... Say hello to hell. We're going to hell, boys. We're going to pig hell. Oh, God. Okay. Come on, slow coach. It's this way. So our kids are leading us to where we need to go. And one thing that's also different is there's no sanity meter, so we don't have to worry about staying in the dark too long, or like, passing out. And then this motherfucker, always calling my ass. I, I, have a, I have a feeling that this is like me, just like in Justine, how Justine was talking to herself from the past or the future or whatever. Alright, who is it? The shaking ground you feel is our attempts to clear the floodwaters. Treachery, Mandas. We were undone. Your children are trapped by this act. You must find them before it is too late. What do you need me to do? How can I find them? Like, the voices sound very familiar. They sound similar, I mean. the piston room and into the tunnels. Then find the bilge and flush the rotten water. I will help you where I can. But you must be swift. So we have someone helping us? Yeah, I just have a feeling that this is us from, like, the future or something. I don't know. But that, that's what our objective right now. We gotta clear the the, um, the water that's flooding the place. That's weird. We have a singular soda can that we could pick up. Oh, hell no. Alright, guys. Please subscribe. I I'm doing this for like ten views. This is not worth ten views. Oh shit. Okay, we get it. You're here. You're here. You're angry. good. Oh shit! I'm not good. 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 Oh boy, okay, let me just chill out for a sec. I'm freaking out. <clears throat> fudge, dude, fudge me.
wrote a journal down. Trapped. Was it a trick? That voice on the phone who seems so close to my own, he seems to know me so well. Does he lead me for a nefarious purpose of his own secret devising? But do I have a choice? Even though his motives are unknown to me, I must find my boys. I will follow the machinery down to the very core of the earth if it will lead me to Edwin and Enoch. Boy! Boy! Your kids are dead! Motherfucker, wake up, damn it! God damn, this dude's stupid. Just freaking build a makeshift ladder. Get the frick out of here, bro. Why do I gotta keep going down? The saboteur has been this way. Intriguing. The gates are far too heavy for a man to lift and are instead hoisted aloft by a chain coiled about a tube that appears to be spun by motors connected to these electrical switches. Whilst the fuse is blown, the motor cannot be spun and the gates will remain an impenetrable barrier to progress. Wait, what? Shit. I gotta find the, the next place to hide, Ma Effer. I'm out. I'm out. Get me out. Oh, I see. Wait, where did I throw that other one? Shit. There was the there was the other one that I found. Where did I put it though? Frick, I forgot. Did I just throw it away? Oh no, it's right here. <gasps> nice, nice, nice. Okay, we need this. This is for This is for this is the to power up the uh the gate so we can get through. So we need this. I'm scared, man. Something about to pop through this door, right? Hey, Mr. Piggy Piggy. Okay, no. He's not coming out just yet. Okay. That's fine. You're gonna come when, uh... The game's over, right? You're not gonna try to scare me or jump scare me, right? So we have a... A wheel to probably turn, open the lever? Or like, lowering something down? I don't know if that's what we were supposed to do, but... We lowered something down. Oh god, something's gonna come out on our way out. I Something's gonna sp jump scare me on my way out, I got a feeling. Oh, this is another battery? Oh, there's just batteries, like, everywhere. Okay. That's convenient, so if you do lose one... Something's gonna come through that door. Don't pop through that door. Just don't do it, just don't do it, man. Okay, we're good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm literally on- I'm literally... Like, at any moment, I feel like I could just shart my hands right now. Literally. So we gotta- we gotta be very- you gotta, we gotta be very careful here. Oh, there's another battery here. So yeah, there's just batteries just hidden everywhere. Huh? Anyone there? I'm staying crouched, man. F that. F this, dude. So yeah, I, I do like the level design. <clears throat> the level design is a lot more detailed than... There's the next, there's the other lever that we gotta go to. 
It's a lot more deep. Please, just stop, man, please. It's a lot more detailed than the first one. Can't open this door. Somebody crying in this shit? Man, get out of there, man! What are you doing in there? Bandaged feet and eyes. Small bones in the orchard. I have carried this world on my back with its legs about me. Damn this wretched soul. I am given birth to nothing but machinery. <clears throat> oh, yeah? Take the battery or the power source or whatever. What the hell? I was like, dude, am I stuck here? What is this? Crouch it up. I'm playing like a I'm playing like a pussy, dude. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care if anyone in the comments saying, oh, you're playing like a little wuss. Don't care. Don't care. You see that? Oh, we can hide under the table like this. Ooh. <clears throat> this is exactly place I like to be. Safe. Hidden. It's my type of vibe. This, not so much. We gotta be like under the table. Alright, let's take this battery just in case we need it. I don't think we do. I feel like the game will provide us with batteries, but just in case. Alright, we're crashing it up. Someone behind there? What the hell is going on? Sorry if it's a little dark. I'm not playing with the lantern because there's no sanity, and I don't want to startle the enemy that's trying to eat my face, you know? That motherfucking pig man, man bear pig type shit. F that, dude. We're gonna let this, we're gonna let him rock. We're gonna let him do his thing. We do need an extra battery though, because the one on the upstairs that we saw, it is out of commission. Ah, and that opened the door. Okay, dope. So we gotta figure out how to get upstairs. Oh shit, oh my god. I'm sorry, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Bye, I'm sorry, did I disturb you? I'm sorry. Okay. <clears throat> He's fine. Is there anywhere to hide? Please. That's all I'm thinking about is where the heck I can hide. I have a double A battery. You don't scare me.
Okay, so we have another door that's being locked out by a power source. Oh, there's another staircase. Okay, I didn't even see that. So this is where the other power source is to open this gate, probably. Uh, let me take a screenshot real quick of this. This is this will be a good place to take a screenshot. For the What? Why? Wait, he's here? He's here. Oh shit! Oh, I think that was the, our kids. <clears throat> okay, so he's... The monster... The monster's here. This mother trucker is here. He's ready. He's here and he's hungry. I saw our... I think that was our kids over there, right? Oh, what, we're locked here now? What? <clears throat> Hopefully we don't crash. If we do, let me save real quick. Because last time I took screenshots in Amnesia The Dark Descent, we just crashed every single time. So I, I don't want that to happen. Or I mean, I don't care if it happens, but like, I don't want, that to, I don't want to relive this friggin' nightmare twice. F that. Okay, screenshot was taken. Alright, so... We got Mr. Pit Man Bear Pig here. He's... He's hungry. He's hungry for sure. We saw our kids down that way. I don't know. Is this where the first chase... Is this where the first enemy encounter happens? I don't know. We got a hiding spot here, which is great. Oh, a battery? Some dead mice? Oh, and this was the door. Ah, okay. So we actually have access, man. That fudge, that I'm leaving this shit back on, boy. I'm putting this shit back on, hell no. Nah. Unless we gotta run through this way, I don't know. We got a note here, though. August 19, 1899, Von Reichenbach writes of the Odic Force. Excuse me. Whilst that ignorant Charlatan Blavatsky pontificated. Man, what's up with these words, bro? Let's just say normal words, man. I don't understand. Upon the soul, they are both Cretans. To think one would strive for such great heights without wading first through puke and innard. Without standing upon an architecture of bones, Montezuma was the wiser. But here in our temples of steel, I have witnessed the sever severed head of a man. <laughs> Recently trampled to death by a runaway carriage, immersed in a solution of the Brennenberg compound. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Excuse me. So we got bone. We got freaking Alexander of Bonerberg back here in freaking Machine for Pigs. Yikes. Yikers. Immersed in a solution of the Brennenberg compound, open his eyes and cry, Oh, where are my legs, sir? Where is my body? We are breaking through the barriers of death itself. Oh, my dead darling Lily? 
It is too late for you, but I promise you this. I will save our children from death, and if need be, I will wrench them back from the blackness with this wonderful concoction. Wait, wait, what, what is, wait, what? <coughs> Excuse me. Let's reread this again, because I, I don't understand. These guys using these words, big words, I don't know what these words mean, man. Von Reichenbach writes of the Odic Force. Whilst the ignorant charlatan Blavatsky puncti pontified, pontificated upon the soul, they are both Koreans. To think one would strive for such great heights without wading first through puke and innard, without standing upon an archite architecture of bones. Montezuma was the wiser, but here in our temples of steel I have witnessed the severed head of a man recently trampled to death by a runaway carriage, immersed in a solution of the Brennenberg compound, opened his eyes and open his eyes and cry, Oh, where are my legs, sir? Where is my body? We are breaking through the barriers of death itself. Oh, my dead darling Lily. It is too late for you, but I promise you this. I will save our children from death, and if need be, I will wrench them back from the blackness with this wonderful concoction. So, th this is potion that was, that this guy made, that he learned from Brennenberg. And Lily's dead. Okay, so that's, that's, that's wonderful. What the hell? Rotate, mother effort. There we go. Okay, he's here. The pig is here. Man bear pig is here. It's not our kids. It's not our freaking. It's not our dead kids. It's the man bear pig. He's here. He's here and he's hungry. And yeah, he's 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 letting us know that he's here. This game is so cursed. This game is absolutely cursed. I wonder. Follow us, Papa. We know the way. <clears throat> okay, Enoch, Edwin. Papa's coming. Papa's coming. So we can actually go back to the beginning if we'd like. However, I think Mr. Our, uh, Mr. Pig Guy is there, so I don't want to do that. I don't even want to. I don't even want to test. I don't want to test his freak. All right. I don't want to match his freak. Okay. We're not doing that. We're not matching this guy's freak. All right. We're doing the opposite. We're gonna. We're gonna avoid the freak. Okay. We're gonna do everything we can to get it to to get away from the freak. Jesus Christ, shit blew up. Wait, we gotta drop down here? Hell no, I'm jumping across. Oh fuck. What? Hold still, for God's sake, hold still, child. Don't let it get into your eyes. I'm gonna rinse it out now. There. It will be fine. You just need to lie down. Enoch, look to your brother. How many times have I told you not to play in the cellar? Wait, can we jump back up here? Okay, we can. This is my that's my escape route. We gotta always find the the, the nearest escape route. This motherfucker could just start charging at my ass. I, I'm not vibing with that. Oh, okay, now this is open. Okay. 
I wonder what happens when we go back. I told you he'd come. Yeah, Papa's here. gotta be some kind of a freaking psychopath to be freaking make a place like this hell no nah. oh boy all right let's listen to the phonogram extraordinary quite extraordinary and you built it all good god man you have been busy it is wonderful how tragedy focuses the mind what else was i to do Fall into grief, pine, and fade in my hopelessness? Why not then simply die in that jungle amongst those dead temples? The die in the jungle amongst the dead temples? Interesting. So we're getting some sort of like, uh, um, Dark Descent vibes, you know? Let me take a screenshot. Hopefully we don't crash. I don't think we crash. Okay, good. Oh, this is actually the loading screen. Okay. Now, can we close this shit? Oh my god, we can't close it. Okay, what is this? Sort of like um, detox chamber. Why are we in a building now? Oh fuck no! It's like windows. I thought we were like underground. Okay, locked door. Lovely. Who's this? Oh, it's the same freaking murderous looking chick. Blood breach, emergency, emergency sh shut down in place. God damn, and this thing is big as hell. Alright, this should show us where the enemy is gonna be, right? God damn, what the hell they got going on in slide three? You seeing this freaky ish? Hell no. Nah. we hide under this table? No, we can't. What about here? Oh my god, I'm just trying to find places to hide for real. The hell? Some kind of freaking... HP Lovecraft type of shit going on right here. What the hell? No notes, eh? Okay. <clears throat> oh, we're loading into a new zone. The collar, the neck, the noose. From the window, he could see almost to the docks, where they were still pulling hair out of the gratings. God knows what it's about, says the paperboy. The talk is of murder. Yeesh. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, we went underground, we entered into some, some sort of engine room, 
And now we're in like what seems to be like just a regular house with windows, but we're underground. Oh shit, oh, Enoch, damn it! Don't scare Papa like that, you asshole! I'm very startled right now. Okay? God damn it, Enoch. You freaking. <laughs> oh my god, why? I have such visions to share with thee. If my jewel be unshackled, then you harvest the crust from my eyes. What? Bro, oh, turn this music off. God damn it, Enoch. Don't scare Papa like that. God damn it. May 1st, 1899. But then, what if they could stand upright and walk as men? What if the brute were harnessed thus? Would they sing? Would they find their own god? I have seen these things, and I will tell you now, no. No, they will not. But they will happily accept fealty to a god thrust upon them, and worship it thus given. In this, I realize they are no different to the masses. They are much the same as us. Once this irrevocable threshold is passed, I understand that we too are shackled and must be set free, to free the man, we cut the man. In order to cross that great evolutionary line, it must first be painted upon the ground. What? What does that mean? Enoch, Edwin, don't don't scare Pop Pop like that again, all right? Okay, this isn't a game. This isn't a game, alright? I'm this close to sharding my pants, okay? <laughs> That's not a lie. August 22nd, 1899. In America, they talk of building their cities to the skies. To me, this seems folly. But perhaps it is simply a case of a nation founded without a history of its own. We walk upon our histories. They are compacted into the very loam beneath our feet. The engineers we employed talked of this. They talked of how, when building the underground trains, they would often come across older tunnel crisscrossing the capital. Tunnels crisscrossing the capital. What palaces lie buried beneath us? We are digging, digging, excavating, and reappropriating what we find. At the center of the planet, my architect tells me there is a great iron ball. It is the egg of the world. So that's the, that, that's I'm assuming that this egg, the stone egg, is the the crystal in like uh, similar to the crystal in the or a um a nod to the crystal in the first game, but they just call it an egg in this game. Why? Oh, what the hell? Oh, what the hell? So, Oswald, clearly a disturbed man, was taking his experiments, I feel, a little bit too far. This should be a one-way mirror, correct? I'm wondering what the purpose of this room is. Oh, 
Oh, the note. <clears throat> October 11th, 1899. We integrate the very latest knowledge of chemistry using low levels of laudanum derivative and feed to subdue the product even before the initiation of the process. This means that when we drag them from the holding pens onto the line, they are less likely to panic and damage machine components, other products, or themselves. So they call pro they call this thing the product, but it's like something that's uh, sentient, it seems, because they're saying they're using it to cause them or to make them panic less. And, and you know have a lower chance of damaging the machinery all that stuff this section of the belt is sheathed in rubber and kept well lit to maintain good spirits and we have actually found that the intelligent placement of gramophones and simple acoustic amplification tubes around the line means we can use music to further soothe the product we find Debussy man what the hell is this a meme we find Debussy particularly effective in this regard. Man, is that where Debussy came from? Is this the line? I don't know. I'm staying crouched though. F this. Warning. Fueling pumps. Volatile chemicals are in use. These materials are highly corrosive. Wear protection. No. No, I'm just kidding, okay. It's quiet. Too quiet. Oh, got some body bags. Yikes. Touching him. Huh? Okay, hold on. Let's fully explore what we get, what we got here. So we got a dead pig. Lovely. It says the same thing. Got a bunch of more dead pigs and a wagon. Can't open this just yet. Oh my god, we got so many other journals. We got so many journals. I wasn't. I was so frightened, man. I didn't even read any of these. More electrical sabotage. Another confounded fuse box. The fellow is. Thorough in his sabotage. Oh yeah, it's the saboteur, right? Who is the saboteur, though? If somewhat repetitive, the stench from these barrels is quite discomforting. I would certainly hope that whatever chemistry this room is designed to store is not a defining feature of the flood that threatens my children. The path is clear. It seems this chemical processor is merely one part of a much larger complex. No easy route for me, then I will follow my fever, the calls of my children wherever they lead me. They may lead me as I move further into this strange empire. What do you mean strange empire? This is your empire, asshole. It, it, you should know everything about it. The factory offices. Maybe this guy has amnesia. <clears throat> All the suggestions of a large workforce, yet no actual signs of life. It is every bit as if someone has attempted to carefully create the illusion of a working factory complex, yet this facade, when examined closely, is clearly just a falsification. But I must put, but I must put aside my anxieties, quell the unease that pits my stomach, and continue on my path. <clears throat> so I was saying it as a joke earlier, but I think our character literally did take an amnesia potion, probably, where uh, probably. Um, 
he created it from a uh, uh, from notes uh, from notes of Alexander Brennenberg maybe I don't know I'm just in I'm just throwing things out there pumping station it appears to be some kind of a fueling station I have seen automobiles de demonstrated at mr. Yarham and mr. Simmons works but the smell here is all wrong. This is not petroleum, of that I am sure. Everything suggests to me that this machine must be significant in some way. What? What way? Truck fueling station. This gas? Petroleum? Jesus Christ, we have a bunch of dead pigs up in this motherfucker. Um, let's just take our, ho our the, the, our, the other homie. Hopefully the pig monster doesn't get mad that we're moving his friend. Dude, I hate how we walk so slow. We'll throw him on top there. We'll leave him with the rest of his friends. We won't let him be alone in this nightmare. We'll let him go out together. Okay. So I'm assuming the reason why, um, oh, we gotta put him here, actually. I'm assuming the reason why we don't remember anything is obviously because we took an amnesia potion to forget. Um, as per usual. Oh, I thought we had to do some sort of puzzle here. I guess not. I was thinking we gotta put him on the hooks. Can't take this guy off. Jeez, this guy was obsessed with pigs, man. Is anyone here? September 28th, 1899. Imagine, they say, a machine one day that might think like a man, as if this is to be desired. One might also boast of creating a man who breeds like a pig. What? No. No, no one thinking like that. Men and women upon all fours, running carelessly, ejaculating their filthy little missives into the streets. What the hell? Alleys and gutters running freely with the careless spill of their conjoinings. The air thick with the whimperings of lust. Bodies streaked with their own emissions. We have created a world where man is so utterly debased, he will spray his seed over passers-by. And yet this is the condition Babbage aspired to. What the hell? Does this guy have some sort of like fantasy of everyone turning into pigs and... And banging each other what the hell this dude's talking about ejaculating on the on strangers jeez yo this guy's this guy was messed up bro is this the shit that he was writing down no wonder why he took that damn amnesia potion dude was fucked his brain was scrambled eggs dude jesus christ no, this is not the machine we seek. Such an entity should be nothing less than a deity, and we would fall upon our knees and worship it. We shall not carve gods to bicker and fornicate. They will exist to clean the world and set us free. I reject Babbage, as I reject these men's of, men of government. Let the pigs copulate in the gutters whilst they can. We shall scoop them up and ease their ascension soon enough. So I'm assuming this is our character, right? And I don't like how it's just dates. In Amnesia the Dark Descent, it had the dates on it, but it was never the title like it was never the title of the document, you know? Maybe some of them were, but no, I like how having I like how they have the like, titles of the document in the Dark Descent. So it really uh, you know, sets the precedent precedent for the tone of what we're reading and it allows us to understand what we're reading more, you know? But yeah, not saying that it's bad, but it's like, you know.
I would have liked... Oh, God. This is where a chase scene happens. I can already tell. Is the piggy guy gonna come out here? Piggy guy, where are you? Just just show yourself, damn it. I know you're freaking here. I know you're here. I know you're hungry. Strangers not allowed on this works. Inquires to be made at the lodge. I know you're here. I know you're hungry. Just... Oh. Oh, we can open this now. Okay. Hold on, let me move this out a little bit more. No. Dude, this is blocking our escape. F that. We gotta get this out the way. The heck? Can, can only move it... The Y axis? Yeah, because I gotta be able to escape easy peasy up in this business. What's this? Oh, it's the, the window. I'm always looking for my escape route. F this, bro. Shit is terrifying, bro. Shit is absolutely terrifying. I thought I, thought I saw a note under here. That's why I came here in the first place. Not to. Oh, now we can move it. I don't know why it was stuck there. That was weird. So we open this. Can we open this too? But we can't move these. Only the one barrel. Yeah, we gotta. I gotta find my mother effing escape route up in this business. F that. If something so pops up out of the shadows, tries to freaking attack me like a freaking Batman, uh, I gotta find a way to get the F out of here, bro. F that. I'm not letting this dude get me. I'm not letting this idiot get me. So we open the gate. Um, what's the point of this, though? Can we carry this wheelbarrow out? No. Okay. Um, let me take a... What's this? What should the screenshot be? That's the thing. Maybe this will be the thumbnail. How did I get up here earlier? What the heck? What? There we go. It looks a little sloppy because I opened the doors, but screw it. Oh, let me save real quick. I just don't want to crash. I just don't want to crash. <laughs> So, I don't know what the hell this guy got going on, but, man, he was trying to, like, make pigs rule the, like, walk the world, walk the, uh, he was trying to make, like, pigs be, like, you know, fornicating and copulating and all that stuff. This dude was just effed up in the brain, I feel like. Boycott. Ban swine stench from our streets. Mandis factory must close. Okay. So we see it here that the people did not like what Mandis was doing. I mean, we already knew that, but... We got a little more... We got more of it here. Hello? There's no scary pig monster that's around the corner, is there? No, no, no. Bell yard. Alright. 
I'm safe. This is the safe area. Where no one's gonna come eat my face off, correct? Delivery schedule. How in the blazes are we supposed to meet these damn schedules if even the basic equipment we provided with simply will not perform its designated function? These cursed newfangled trucks will only run a fraction of the distance my old nag managed before running out of stinking gasoline. <clears throat> the gaffer says it's fine, and there's plenty of pumps to refill them outside the factory walls, but you end up dragging a blessed tank from the truck to the nearest one to refill it, and the one in the storeroom is empty again. I can't be turning that crank handle all day only to find the tank is empty. Well, sod it says I. Well, sod it says I. Enough for a night and to my bed I go. It's not like anyone needs access to the bleeding graveyard anyway. Harry, if you get this, I'll meet you in the Damson Temple for a jar. Harry. Who's Harry? Henry was in the first game, not Harry. Okay, so we can't even ride the thing. Saint Dunstan's. Come on, Papa. Let's climb this one. I can see more pictures at the top. Huh? Wait, what? Oh hell no, we got a graveyard going. Oh god, we got like pigs in that being buried and shit in here. Yeah, dude's got that freaking pig fetish going on. Hell no. Nah. Hey, get this freaky ass up out of here. Get this freaky ass out of here. Crash on just so it looks like We're in some sort of city. I was thinking that oh my god. Look at that Mandis co meat processing factory Anno 1829 1828 Fuck What the hell is going on? So, very interesting. I thought this whole entire area, like, si similarly to... I'm, like, hearing shit. Similarly to the Dark Descent, it was just, like, all in one area. Just, like, all in Castle Brennenberg. It looks like that's not the case for this game. It looks like this game actually goes to different places besides Oswald's Manor, Oswald's Mansion, and the uh, Mandis Meat Company. It looks like there's a church that you can go to, or not, maybe, not, maybe, you might be able, not be able to go there, but it does look like there are, like, we are in, like, an entire setting as opposed, like, or an entire, like, city setting. You guys hearing that? Okay, this is where we're gonna meet our. This is gonna where we're gonna meet our little friend. This is where we're gonna meet our friend. He's in here. That motherfucker's in here. All right, let me see what time we're at. We're at an hour and five minutes. It's not enough. An hour and five minutes isn't enough. We gotta keep going. So, I'm terrified. Mandis Company Meat Processing Factory. This motherfucker's in here. Alright guys, this is where... This is where I... This is where I start pooping my pants. Because this motherfucker's in here. He's eaten. Chemical transportation, danger, highly corrosive, highly flammable. So it looks like that highlighted area is just where we're at.
We got a journal entry. Holy orders. This church is connected to the plant. How odd. However, it does suggest another route into the main part of the facility. Given the locked doors around the fueling station, the truck blocks my way. However, almost all, almost as if the saboteur knew that I might consider this alternative entrance. A strange container. This canister looks as if it might uh, may fuel the pump I saw earlier. It certainly carries the same fetid unholy reek. I will not think of that which I saw past me in its cage. I will not gaze again into that dark machine room. A more immediate task presents itself and the opportunity perhaps to gain access to St. Dunstan's. So we, we do have to go to the church. So somebody's eating behind this door. Somebody's hungry. Somebody eating something behind this door, man. I'm freaking, I'm out. We gotta find our escape our escape route. Cause I hear that motherfucker chomping and gnawing and eating and all this crap. I'm not vibing with it. I'm not vibing with it. I got a feeling we're gonna see oh, we're gonna see Buddy around the corner. We're gonna see Buddy soon. Fast getaway. What? Why is it why are we writing notes here? Tweets, dear sweet lord of all that is good and holy, I must make my escape. Grasp this container and its future content and flee this place before that creature that nearly man returns. I will head for the church, surely, but such an abomination could not follow into hollowed grounds. Is he still here? and the pig mask is right there. Wait, what? We're not supposed to put it in here? Wait, I didn't even see the, the monster. Oh, we gotta put it here. Okay, now what? Jesus Christ. Okay, we... We put the gas in the car. Can I turn the car on? Jeez, man, I'm scared. Are you there, my friend? Okay.
Dude, this shit's gonna pop up behind me. Dude, what am I supposed to do? We put the oil, or we put the gas in the car. I gotta move the car. I don't even know how to drive. It's Um... It's like, the, do we have to get a key here? We already got all the gas. It was like something I could interact with. Oh, is the door? I feel like if we could get up here, we could cheese the monster. He's not even here anymore though. I'm confused. I mean, we, we put the, the gas in there. We, we gotta move the car. It just... just not making sense to me. We gotta go to the church. Oh, what the? Oh! Okay. Should we end the video and then do St. Dunstan's Church in the next video? I think so. What time? We're probably like 120, an hour and 20. That's okay, because I looked up the runtime for this game. I didn't spoil anything, by the way, but I looked up the runtime. It says it was around like four to six hours of gameplay, but knowing me, I play really slow, so probably around like 10 hours of gameplay. Let me see what time we're at. Okay. I think we'll end there. I'm too scared to play, honestly. Like, these games... I hate these games. I hate these freaking games. And this is, I feel like this is a good place to end. We got through... Um, the Mandis, Mandis Company Meat Processing Factory. We got through the Meat Processing Factory. Um, we learned a little bit. That was weird how you have to pull a lever to start the car. But, um, yeah. Let's just end it here. Let's just end it here. I feel like this is a good spot to end. Ooh, look at that view, though. That could be the thumbnail for the next radio, though. This could be a sweet thumbnail. And the moon is big as hell. God damn, I think they kind of messed that up a little bit.
That shit looked like a whole fucking planet. But I'm terrified. I'm I'm I am i do not I don't I don't like these games, dude. I don't know why I'm playing these games. Please guys watch the videos, like it, comment, subscribe, do all that stuff, cause dude, I'm literally freaking having a freaking mini heart attack every single time I freaking play these games, man. And I'm if I'm only doing this for freaking one view, come on bro. Come on bro, it's not even worth it, dude. Oh my god. It's fine, it's worth it, it's worth it. The, the Amnesia, the Dark Descent got decent views, okay, for my for my channel, you know. And we're gonna see how A Machine for Pigs does. I just uploaded part, my part one of, of A Machine for Pigs. This is gonna be part two. Um, but let's close this out properly, okay, guys? So I'm done playing this game. I can't play this game anymore. It's, it's too much for me right now. All right, guys. That's going to be the end of today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed part 2 of Amnesia and Machine for Pigs. In this video, we went over the Mandis Company Meat Processing Factory. Oh wait, did we? I mean, yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah, cuz this is the building that we just came through was has the sign on it. So yeah, we we went through the meat processing factory as well as um like the engine room or something. Um or the, the beginning of the meat processing factory. I, I don't know. I just remember we went down some stairs and then they broke. So we couldn't go back up to our mansion. So I guess that was the start of the meat processing factory. That whole like engine room in the, in the, um, in the beginning of the gameplay. I don't know what that part was. Maybe it was the meat processing factory. I feel like just this is the meat processing factory and this. But... I don't know, because I, I gotta figure out what the title is gonna be called. But anyways, guys, I don't know. I'm, I, I'm literally... I, I, I'm I always freaking on edge playing these games, man. It's so terrifying. Um, it's it's scary. I will say the sound design was pretty good. It's, it's, so far, it's pretty good in this game. Um, that's something that I really enjoyed... In the Dark Descent, the sound design in the Dark Descent was spectacular. Honestly, it, it literally added so much to the horror of the game. And I will say that this definitely the, the the sound design in this game, although not as good as the first one, it's still pretty dang good. Like that freaking when we were in the office room and then we we're hearing that freaking the freaking uh the freaking to the window da, 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 that freaking bullshit ass that every single scary music every scary movie uses and like freaking insidious and shit that shit was pissing me off because i was like can this shit turn off already i'm freaking scared man but yeah this game is pretty scary uh we didn't get to see the monster yet we did get very close to it i got a feeling that at the church we're about to see that motherfucker, and I got a feeling that you know when when we when we wrote down the notes. Oh, surely the 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 monster's not gonna get go to the church because it's freaking holy ground, man. That's some BS. He's about to be right there, front and center, on the freaking podium, giving a freaking sermon up in this biash. The sermon to freaking eat my face off. That's what it's gonna be. Freaking a man. I freaking despise this game, bro. I despise this game, and this this game is super creepy. I love how they definitely kept with the gothicness of the first game. First game was super gothic. We have this old school European castle. It was super gothic. We didn't really get to see too much of the outside, where as opposed to this game, where we get to see a lot of the outside. But even the interior alone for the Dark Descent had some very great gothic feels and I feel like uh, Amnesia a Machine for Pigs definitely upped the score on Dark Descent for providing that gothic feel even further with just I mean just looking at this church looking at the buildings like look at this thing like you see the freaking the freaking the what is that the the freaking tubes the freaking I don't know freaking air tubes Everything just seems so gothic. Reminds me of like Van Helsing a little bit, kind of. 
Um, it's, it's, I love the atmosphere of this game. It's super scary. It's so immersive. I love it. It's, it's definitely, like, I feel like I'm here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like I'm, my, my ass is here. You know? So, um, I ha, I, so, so far, I'm, I'm enjoying the game. Um, I, I don't know where these negative reviews came from, but maybe that's going to expose itself when we beat the game. But as of now, about two hours, three hours into the game, it everything seems pretty good. But that was part two. Um, we went through the, I believe we went through the Mandis Company meat, meat Processing Factory. I believe we went through there. Um, and now, for the next part, we're going to be going to St. Sorry. St. Dunstan's Church. So we're going to be going to the church. Um, I don't know why we're going to be going to the church. Maybe we'll figure that out as we reread the journals and the documents. But that's what I like to do at the end of this vi these videos, guys. I like to reread all the journals, all the documents that we read. Because it's kind of hard to grasp what's going on in the story when I'm constantly terrified, you know. So I like to read things a second time. And it'll help you guys also understand as well a second time. So let's just start with the found documents. So I believe we started with August 19th, 1899. Yeah, this one. This one was weird. But we did get a nice um, Easter or a reference back to Alexander of Brennenburg. So it, we, we do see a little bit of a connection from the first game to the second game. It's not the greatest connection, but it is a connection. So let's start. Von Reichen, or August 19th, 1899. I'll try to go over this fast. I'll read it fast. Von Reichenbach writes of the Odic Force. Whilst that ignorant Charlotte Blavatsky pontified upon the soul. Pontificated upon the soul. While that, whilst that ignorant Charlotte Blavatsky pontificated upon the soul. So this, he's talking about two people. They are both Cretans. So both these guys. Blavatsky and Von Reichenberg are both Cretans. To think one could strive for such great heights without wading first through puke and innard, without standing upon an architecture of bones, Montezuma was the wiser. But here in our temples of steel I have witnessed the severed head of a man, recently trampled to death by a runaway carriage, immersed in a solution of the Brennenberg compound, open his eyes and cry, wait what? Whoa, very interesting. So, the severed head is kind of reminding me of Agrippa when we severed his head. And how he was able to still... Well, actually, I don't think he was still able to communicate with us, but... In this story, the, the head is communicating because he used a solution that was... Uh, that he learned from Brennenberg. So let's read that again. I have witnessed the severed head of a head of a man recently trampled to death by a runaway carriage, immersed in a solution of the Brennenberg compound, open his eyes and cry, Oh, where are my legs, sir? Where is my body? We are breaking through the barriers of death itself. Oh, wow. Okay. So it looks like through the research of Brennenberg, the people in this game... Von Reichenbach and Blavatsky Montezuma, I believe that's what his last name because they refer to it as Blavatsky in the first sense, but then they say Montezuma was the wiser, so I'm assuming that's Blavatsky's last name. So these two people, um, did they did they use the potion on the head? Did Montezuma? I don't know. Hold on, let me just keep reading. Uh, so the head cries out, "Where are my legs? Where's my body?" And then they're basically saying. We are breaking through the barriers of death itself. So it looks like even after a head has been severed off from its body, they were able to use Brennenberg's solution to give it life. Um, and then I believe Oswald is now talking now because he's talking about Lily. Um, and I think and Oswald has some sort of relationship with Lily. I don't know who Lily is, but Lily is dead. So he goes, oh, my dead darling Lily. It is too late for you, but I promise you this. I will save our children from death, and if need be, I will wrench them back from the blackness with this wonderful concoction. Okay. So I didn't really get that the first time, but it looks like Oswald's wife is Lily. So she's dead, unfortunately. But it's not too late for the children. Um... 
according to Oswald, and he said that he promises Lily he's going to use this concoction to bring them back to life. So that's very interesting. So the concoction created from Brennenberg is something that our main character Oswald Mandis is going to use to bring his children back to life. Let's go to the next one. May 1st, 1899. But then, what if they could stand upright and walk as men? What if the brute were harnessed thus? Would they sing? Would they find their own god? I have seen these things, and I will tell you now, no. They, no, they will not. But they will happily accept fealty to a god thrust upon them, and worship it thus given. Um, in this, I realize they are no different to the masses. They are much the same as us. Once this irrevocable threshold is passed, I understand that we are too shackled that we too are shackled and must be set free. To free the man, we cut the man. In order to cross that great evolutionary line, it must first be painted upon the ground. Painted upon the ground, making me think of like those like like satanic symbols and stuff that was in the first game, maybe? I don't know. Just thinking. Could be wrong. Next one. Sorry. In America, they talk of building their cities to the sky. So, we're not in America. Or at least I don't think, because it says, in America. As if they're as if we're not there. Um, they talk of building their cities to the sky. To me, this seems folly, but perhaps it is simply a case of a nation founded without a history of its own. We walk upon our histories. They are compacted into the very loam beneath our feet. The engineers we employed talked of this. They talked of how when building the underground trains, they would often come across older tunnels crisscrossing the capital. What palaces lie buried under, uh, buried beneath us? <coughs> we are digging. <coughs> Excuse me. We are digging, digging, excavating, and reappropriating what we find. At the center of this planet, at, at the center of the planet, my architect tells me, there is a great iron ball. It is the egg of the world. So the core of the Earth's the Earth. But there was also a mention of an egg earlier from Enoch or Edwin, one of the two, I think. It was like they were talking about it in like a voice dialogue, I think. I can't really remember too much. <clears throat> October 11, 1899. We integrate the very latest knowledge of chemistry using low levels of laudanum derivative in the feed to subdue... Uh, the product even before the initiation of the process. That uh, This means that when we drag them from holding pens onto the line, they are less likely to panic and damage machine components, or other products, or themselves. This section of the belt is sheathed in rubber and kept well to lit, well lit to maintain good spirits, and we have actually found that intelligent placement of gramophones and simple acoustic amplification tubes around the lines means we can use music to further soothe the product. We find Debussy particularly effective in this regard. So this is like, this is a meme right here. So they're just talking about ways to um, subdue the product before they go to their final destination. They use music to soothe the, the, the product. And then they find Debussy particularly effective. I don't know what that means, but that's probably something that's used on the product to help them go through this this process that they're going through. September 28, 1899. Imagine, they say, a machine one day that might think like a man. As if this is to be desired, one might also boast of creating a man who breeds like a pig. Men and women upon all fours, running carelessly, ejaculating their filthy little missives into the streets, alleys and gutters, running freely with the, with the careless spill of their conjoinings, the air thick with the whimperings of lust. The air thick with the whimperings of lust. Bodies streaked with their own emissions. We have created a world where man is so utterly debased, he will spray his seed over passerby. And yet, this is the condition Babbage aspired to. Uh, no, this is not the machine we seek. Such an entity should be nothing less than a deity, and we would fall upon our knees and worship it. We shall not carve gods to bicker and fornicate. They will exist to clean the world and set us free. I reject Babbage as I reject these men of government. 
Let the pigs copulate in the gutters whilst they can. We shall scoop them up and ease their ascension soon enough. So their ascension. So they're turning, they're making pigs and they're trying to like turn them into like, you know, um, to like man, to like men, you know, a machine one day that might think like a man. So you just replace machine with pig, a pig one day that might think like a man, um, as if this was to be desired. One almost might boast of creating a man who breeds like a pig. Um, interesting. I don't, this is very interesting. Who's Babbage too? So it looks like Babbage wanted this. He wanted this, um, this world of just, you know, basically like some freaking Sodom and Gomorrah type ish going on. Um, but the second paragraph is probably coming from Oswald's thoughts, maybe. Um, maybe. Yeah, probably. Because he says, I reject Babbage as I reject these men of government. Let the pigs copulate in the gutters whilst they can. We shall scoop them up and ease their ascension soon enough. So, I don't know what's going on with this dude. Delivery schedule. How in the blazes are we supposed to meet these damn schedules if even the basic equipment we are provided will simply not... Will sit with with simply will not perform its designated function. These cursed newfangled trucks will only run a fraction of the distance my old nag managed before running out of stinking gasoline. The gaffer says it's fine and there's plenty of pumps to refill them outside the factory walls, but you end up dragging a blessed tank from the truck to the nearest one to refill it, and the one in the storeroom is empty again. I can't be turning that crank handle all day, only to find the tank is empty. Well, sod it says I. Enough for a night, and to my bed I go. It's not like anyone needs access to the bleeding graveyard anyway. Harry, if you get this, I'll meet you in the Damson Templar for a jar. Hey, is that the church? Damson Templar? Dunstan. Okay, well, all these names aren't freaking adding up. And then the My Journal part, I think we'll pass on this because... No, we could go through this. I th there's not too many. So, um, it's trapped, right? Or it was a curious discovery. Uh, a curious discovery. Metal ticking as it cools and contracts. This must be the strange machine my new friend told me of. If my children discover this place, it is entirely conceivable they stray downwards. Delighted in their discovery very well. It seems my route is predestined. The descent begins. Was it a trick? That voice on the phone, who seems so close to my own, who seems to know me so well, does he lead me for a nefarious purpose of his own secret devising? But do I have a choice? Even though his motives are unknown to me, I must find my boys. I will follow the machinery down to the very core of the earth if it will lead me to Edwin and Enoch. So this is another reference to the journals, I believe, the core of the earth where they find this, where there's like a stone or whatever. The saboteur has been this way. Intriguing. The gates are far too heavy for a man to lift and are instead hoisted aloft by a chain coiled about a tube that appears to be spun by motors connected to these electrical switches. Whilst the fuse is blown, the motor cannot be spun. Okay, yeah, that's just for in-game stuff. Uh, another confu confounded fuse box. This fellow is thorough in his sabotage. If somewhat repetitive, the stench from these barrels is quite discomforting. I would certainly hope that whatever chemistry this room is designed to store is not a defining feature of the flood that threatens my children. Okay. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, the path is clear. It seems this chemical processor is merely one part of a much larger complex. No easy route for me, then. I will follow my fever, the cause of my children, where, wherever they may lead me, as I move further into this strange empire. The factory offices... All the suggestions of a large workforce, yet no actual signs of life. It is every bit as if someone has attempted to carefully create the illusion of a working factory complex, yet this facade, when examined closely, is clearly just a falsification. But I must put aside my anxieties, quell the unease that pits my stomach, and continue on my path. Pumping station. It appears to be some kind of fueling station. I have seen automob automobiles demonstrated at Mr. Yarham and Mr. Simmons' works. But the smell here is all wrong. This is not petroleum, of that I am sure. Everything suggests to me 
that this machine must be significant in some way. Holy orders. This church is connected to the plant. How odd. However, it does suggest another route into the main part of the facility. Given the locked doors around the fueling station, the truck blocks my way. However, almost as if the saboteur knew that I might consider this alternative entrance. So it looks like the saboteur set up that truck to block the church. Uh, a strange container. This canister looks as if it may fill the bomb. It's not like a Okay, this is just in-game stuff. Not really anything to do with the story. A fast getaway. Dear sweet lord of all that is good and holy, I must make my escape, grasp this container and its future contents, and flee this place before that creature that nearly man returns. I will head for the church. Surely an abomination could not follow into hollowed ground. That is a lie. Alright, so that's all the notes. That's all the journals. Um, holy crap, I thought I was seeing something. Uh, thank you everyone for watching. I appreciate you guys all for tuning in. Tom no, no, not tomorrow. I'll see you guys on Tuesday for part three. We're going to go to St. Dunstan's Church. And we're going to continue a machine for pigs. Um, thank you guys everyone once again for watching, supporting, liking, comment, subscribing, all that stuff. Even just viewing it without doing any of those. I appreciate all you guys. Um, makes me feel a lot better playing these freaking scary games, which I hate playing. So, I appreciate all you guys. I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Okay, guys? I'm out of here. Peace!